Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, April the 5th, 2021, and this is episode 3516. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to a brand new week and today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Even So. Stay tuned. Well, yesterday was Easter Sunday, Resurrection Day. Hope you had a great time celebrating that resurrection and being a part of your local congregation and your churches there where you live. Revelation 22.20 says, He who testifies to these things says, Surely I am coming quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. I find great encouragement in those words. In the times that we're living in, Even so, fill in the blank. Even so, despite this or that, Jesus said, surely I am coming quickly. Now, yesterday was Easter where we celebrated the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. But with all the rejoicing of the believers in Jesus' day, he was soon to ascend into heaven. Can you imagine how their feelings went back and forth within them? He's dead. He's alive. He's gone again but he's coming back. After Jesus' resurrection, there were 13 appearances of Jesus post-resurrection. He appeared to Mary Magdalene as a gardener. Uh, He appeared to uh, the other two women who were with Mary Magdalene, Salome, Mary, the mother of James. He appeared to Peter. He appeared to two men on the road to, to Emmaus. He appeared to the disciples except for Thomas, and then he appeared to the apostles with Thomas. He appeared to seven of his disciples on the shores of the Sea of Galilee when he prepared for them a great fish and chips dinner, right? He appeared to the apostles on a mountain in Galilee. He appeared to over 500 brethren at once. He appeared to his brother James. He appeared to the apostles and ate a meal with them. He, and then there was this ascension, and he appeared to Paul on the road to Damascus. Listen to this passage in Acts chapter 1. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem. He said, to them, it is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. (laughs) Do you like that? Listen, Jesus said, it is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. You wish you did, but we don't. But this is what he said after that. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. That's our mission. You don't know times and seasons. Quit trying to figure that out. Here's your mission. Here's your job. Take the power of the Holy Spirit that I'm going to send to you and be witnesses. And then in verse 9, now when he had spoken these things, While they watched, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. 
Yeah, angels. Who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. So be witnesses and be faithful in waiting. Titus chapter 2 verse 13 says, looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. Listen, be on mission. Be that special body of Christ, zealous for good works. And then, of course, Revelation chapter 22. He who testifies to these things says, Surely I am coming quickly. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Listen, even so, despite this and that, the same Jesus who rose victorious from the dead, whose resurrection we celebrated yesterday, is coming again. And until he comes, let's be witnesses. Let's be that peculiar people, zealous of good works, bringing honor and glory to him as we share the good news of the gospel with others. Father, even so, Lord, help us to keep one eye on heaven, looking for your return, and another eye on earth and the opportunities that you've given us to be a witness for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Have a great start to your week. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.